So you can dance a little salsa, eat a little salsa. It is the first ever Southwest Detroit Restaurant Week that is starting today. 20 restaurants cooking up special menus that showcase traditional and authentic foods from around the world. Joining me this morning is, uh, well, some really tasty looking food. Uh, we've got event spokesperson Monica Cesares and Good Jessica morning. Gutierrez. Uh, you are a co-owner of El Rey de a la Arepas. Did right. I say that correct? Yes. yes. Okay, and you're one of the 20 restaurants participating in the event, and this is all food f that you would cook at your restaurant available. Correct, yeah. Um, our biggest plate right now is the uh, arepas. We named El Rey de las Arepas because that's the most common plate that we have. So it's uh, corn, dough, um, gluten-free. Okay. Uh, it's kind of a sandwich. You can make it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So okay. it depends what you want to stuff it with, vegetarians, things like that. This one's a vegetarian one, cheese oh, and yeah. uh, black beans. Um, for breakfast, you can do scrambled eggs. Um, for dinner, you can do shredded beef, cheese, things like that. Okay, it's, it's quite a variety. And then we've got uh, some plantains I see right in front of you and, and several, uh, several plantains. Plantains, plantains, I'm a big fan. Yeah, <laughs> fried plantains over there, sweet plantains here. Pabellón is the traditional plate. So when you say traditional plate, where where is this food traditionally from? Is it from Mexico or? It's a uh, Venezuelan food. Okay. Yes. So so this is probably something a little different than what people are normally used to seeing, right? Is this also the corn um, the corn? It, meal? it is, but yeah. it's sweet, so it's almost like oh. a pancake. Oh. Um, so it's very sweet, but then you add cheese to it, or you can put meat on there, and it has that sweet and not so sweet taste. Yeah, taste the sweet and the savory combined right. together. And, I thought, and you said this is one of your favorite restaurants, but of course you've probably got 20 favorite restaurants this week. It is rough. <laughs> I have learned so much because we have restaurants that are representing uh, at least uh, six or seven, maybe even nine countries at this point. So this restaurant wow. represents food from Venezuela and Colombia, which is my heritage. Um, there's also Cuba, El Salvador, Guatemala. So there's so much more than the Mexican food that Mexican town is known for, which is why we wanted to do this during Hispanic Heritage Month, yeah. to really showcase all that Latin American cuisine. It's amazing what there is, and I've learned so much, but this is, I have a soft spot for this because yes. they serve the food of my country. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the difference in Latin American cuisine, depending on the region and the country that you're, you're talking about, and that's one of the fun things about this restaurant week versus the others, is that international variety exactly. that you're going to have. So I, do you have a favorite dish on here? The arepas. I mean, they, it is not called the king of the arepas for nothing. So <laughs> they are amazing, and they're just a very different taste, even though, you know, cornmeal, cornmeal, yes. cornmeal. Um, you know, the El Salvador, they make something called a pupusa with yes. similar things, but they taste completely different. Um, so that is absolutely where my soft spot. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah. So, okay, Restaurant Week begins today. Give me the nitty gritty. Yes. Uh, how uh, long does it last and how much will it cost? Well, it starts today. It goes through October 14. So it's the very last days here of Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, there is not a ticket price of any kind. Okay. It's, it's 23 restaurants are participating. And so each restaurant has their own special menu. They're all on the website, and Fantastic. the price points are there as well. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you both. We have a lot of eating to do, so yes. stick around. We'll have more coming up.